Hello and welcome to this new and exciting tutorial. In our tutorial today, we are going to learn how to sell on Creative Market. You'll go to creativemarket.com and that link is available in the description of this video. And before we start selling on Creative Market, it's good that we know the benefits of selling on Creative Market. So down here on creativemarket.com, you notice that you can earn through affiliate partner benefits. And if you click on that under earn, you notice that you can earn cash sharing stunning assets when you refer your network to Creative Market and earn a commission on any new or returning customer purchase made within 30 days of clicking your referral link. So basically top Creative Market affiliates have earned over 30,000 US dollars per year you earn 20% for new customers and then you earn 10% on returning customers and then you earn 30% on membership sign ups. So these are great benefits that you can get by selling on Creative Market. And by joining Creative Market, you also build your empire because each customer you refer grows your partner empire. So you are able to earn more money while you sleep. You just tell people about Creative Market and then you start and you continue earning as they also refer other people. And then also with Creative Market, you are also able to support the creators by promoting products on Creative Market, which enables independent designers and creators around the world to spend more time doing what they love. So there are quite a great number of benefits of using Creative Market. If now you have a shop, what are the benefits of having a creative market shop? You earn money, basically fast doing what you love doing, and then you get a network of 10 million members, and then you're also able to get, you're also able to partner up, and then you're also able to set up your own prices. All these are shop owner packs that come with creative market shop. You're also able to get instant delivery and no per product approval. So because once your shop is approved, you don't have to have each product approved later on. So those are great benefits. And then all the tools you need to manage your shop are also available in Creative Market, such as you'll be able to track your statistics for your shop. You are also able to stay in touch with your customers and then you can manage your support by messaging systems that are available within the Creative market or how do you sell on creative market you come to creativemarket.com and then on the right hand side you notice we have join login and open a shop so we want to open a shop you click on open a shop and then you click on it down here also and then you now sign up here you can sign up with your gmail or you can sign up from your facebook or you can sign up with the dribble if you have a Dribbble account. So we are going to be signing in with our email. So you click on email and then you put your details here, your name, and then you also put your email here. You put your email here, then your username here, and then your password. And then you click on agree to the terms. And then down here, you click on create account. And then the next step here, where you share your work with the creative market so that they are able to maintain quality within the marketplace because they limit the seller community to the most qualified creators. So it's good that you give your details here. So you continue with giving your details, your name and last name will appear already there. So what category of products will you mainly sell? You select here. Is it graphics, templates and themes, fonts, brushes and more or photos? What you are selling is what you select here. So I select that I'm selling templates and themes, and then you share a URL where they can view your work. Now you have, you have several options where you can share this URL. For instance, if you are possibly having your Facebook or your YouTube channel where you can share this URL, it's still okay. But you can also share products or projects that you have created even from Canva, you notice like here, I have a project from Canva, maybe it's a template, you notice this one is editable and it's just a simple template created using Canva. In this YouTube channel, we have other tutorials 
on how to use Canva and you're welcome to watch those ones so that you know how to create this. So I want to share this as a link to my sample. So I'll click up here on share and then I'll click down here on copy link. So my link has been copied and then I can change the settings here. Anyone with the link can access so that once I share that link with them, they'll also be able to access that. So I'll come back to my shop here and then paste that link. That's the link. And then I'll click on, I confirm that I have permission to submit this work. Then do you already sell digital assets online? If it's yes, you click on yes. And then you fill the URL for the sites that you sell. Maybe you sell some on Etsy, on Shopify, whichever sites that you sell here, you enter the URL here. So for the site, you click on the drop down arrow. You can notice the sites that are there. We have Design Cuts, Evanto, Etsy, Fontspring, Gumroad, all this. So you select the one that you need. And even if the one that you sell on is not there, you click on Other and then you're able to put your name there. But if you select No, you won't have to put all those links there. So in this case, I'm going to select No and then click on Next. And then now you answer these simple questions. Which option best describes your motivation? Or selling products on creative market you select the one that best describes you how will you describe your experience level as an online seller if you have experience if you sell on multiple marketplaces if you don't have experience here like i'm new to selling the creative products online you select the one that best describes you so i'll select the first one what best describes your plan for marketing the products on creative market you select again one, I've got a couple of ideas, I need some idea, I don't consider marketing something I need to do, you know, you just select the one that best describes you. And then after that, you click on, I have read and agree to the shop's terms and service. Then you click on submit application, and then you'll receive an email where you'll need to validate your identity, and then you click on that email. So I'll go back to my email here, and then you notice I have an email here. And so once you get to your email and you verify your email, you'll now be able to come to your shop here. And you notice on the top right corner, we have my profile, we have the collections and all that. So if you want to update your profile, you'll click on my profile and then click on edit profile settings. You can update your likes, collections, or even about. You notice currently our collections is at zero. We have not created any collection as at, as at now. You notice that you are now able also to do an integration for your shop. If you have things that you sell on Dribble, you'll come and click on connect and then your creative market will be connected to your Dribble account. You'll have to wait for one business day for your shop to be approved within one business day. So once that is done, you'll be able now to use the creative market so i hope this has been helpful kindly like this video share and subscribe to our youtube channel